Hey guys, from Inside is here and welcome to a new episode of Playtime. This time I am playing Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage, which was released in 1994 for the Super Nintendo and Sega Mega Drive. I am playing the Super Nintendo version, and this was a really great game. I really enjoyed it very much playing it back in the day, and there are a lot of intro sequences we have to get through, and there's the main title screen. Maximum Carnage, and as you can probably tell, you can play as both Spider-Man and Venom. And this, that is a, what we just saw was um, a little introduction there using cutscenes, uh, comic book cutscenes. And what I really like about this game is, uh, first and foremost, the graphics. I mean, they really captured the comic book look of Spider-Man, and it gives everything a heightened reality, and I really like that. I mean, apart from that, it is pretty much a standard brawler, although you can use all of Spider-Man's powers, but it's pretty much punching and beating up, very much like Double Dragon or Final Fight or Street Streets of Rage, even. No, it's just, as you can see, there are, when you hit the enemy, sometimes you get the uh, whack or the pow uh, phrases which you saw in uh, pretty much in comic book style but it it's a really great fun game I really do enjoy playing it and this uh, Spider-Man game was based on the Maximum Carnage uh, comic book storyline in 1993 which involved Spider-Man and Venom teaming up to take on Carnage who uh, was raising all sorts of hell and killing lots of people in New York City and they these two had to team together along with a number of vil uh, heroes such as Captain America, Black Cat, Deathlock and Morbius. Uh, and these, they had a lot of conflicting views this team but they managed to keep it together. It was very much the enemy of my enemy is my friend and they eventually managed to defeat Carnage so, this this game also had a sequel. It was uh, Spider-Man and Venom Maximum. Uh, sorry, Spider-Man and Venom a Separation Anxiety, which was uh, very similar to this game. It again featured Carnage as the main villain, and so it, uh, this is definitely the better of the two. It's just a lot of beat em, beat 'em ups here. One of the things I enjoyed about the beat 'em up genre in general is that when you is that when you face an, an any enemy they all have names and i i always think see here we've got Paul here who we're fighting and Jeff and i always think that gave a good amount of it gave just a little, little bit more of character development even to these um generic characters that they would otherwise be Now it's just it is mainly just beating up beating up people. Now um, I played this only a little bit growing up. I I rented this game. It was another game I rented from Blockbuster back in the day, and uh, you know I enjoyed it for what it was worth. It was, you know, it was another beat 'em up. But I was I was big and still am a big Spider-Man fan, so I very much enjoyed playing it, and I think. The game mechanics are very solid. I like the way you can web swing and wall crawl and use all of Spider-Man's abilities. I'm now taking on Lizzie and Dana here. They're climbing up the wall. Now they have like a hair whip attack like you just saw there and uh, it's unblockable. Which is a bit irritating. I've just got to keep jumping out of the way and keep using guerrilla tactics here to, to take them out. And I'm running low on health here, so I've just got to be very strategic about where I attack. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, anyway, I've got another life, so that's a good thing. It's just a matter of wearing, wearing these guys out and keep doing jump kicks. That may be cheap, but they've got a cheap move of their own, so... I, I like also Spider-Man's jumps as well. I like that black back for the puffing. That's very athletic. 
So this is the sort of boss for the stage of the first level. godana has gone, so now I've got to concentrate on Lizzie. I think I can do this. I just gotta keep jumping and moving out of the way. Mm -hmm. Go on, pow, pow, pow. She's nearly gone now. And there we go. Lizzie is down and out for the count. Spidey swinging across there. That's pretty good. Climb. Let's go. Alrighty then. Let's go indeed. There I am. Now I've got to. Oh, now you can see that. Oh, oh, got hit there. There's the arrow which is, denotes my spider sense. So, I've got to avoid getting hit. And I've got to scale the wall. I very much like how this this is, looks. It's very well done. The graphics here animates very well. I do like the uh, spidey swing across. It's it's really good. Oh, careful! It's just a case of swinging backwards and forwards and not get hit. Oh, I have to be careful there. Down halfway to health. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's just a case of just swinging across the building so I don't get hit. But I do like the way the uh, spider sense mechanic is implemented here, and I've fallen down again. Come on, Spidey. Just a case of trying to get up the top and following the arrow so I don't get hit. Alright, oh. Dodge out the way there. Okay, we can be careful here. Oh, miss that again. Oh dear, it's just a. It's, you feel like you're not making any progress, but it's just you can. You've got to get swing from side to side and follow the arrows and move up as quickly as you can in order to progress. And to get to the top of these uh, of these buildings, and whoop, that is that is doppelganger. We'll see him in a bit, I think. All right, come on, just got to get to the top. All right, I think we're nearly there, about now. Yeah, there we go. Now we're on to the rooftop. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. Come on, game alone. There we go. Oh, there you can see there's Doppelganger, who uh, is a sort of a mutated creation of Spider-Man. He has eight limbs and very is very reminiscent of when Spider-Man contracted the uh, mutation sickness that turned him into a living spider. Oh, he's taking me out of there. The a doppelganger is very much reminiscent of that. Hold on, what's happening here? Oh no, I've been knocked off the roof. Oh, I really like the way these uh, comic book scenes are done. You get uh, early versions of an early version of comic book motion here, yeah, which is re really well done, and they're taken. When it gives it more authenticity, the way it's been taken directly from the comics. And you can see Spider-Man has just landed. Okay, alleyway. Well, when this game came out, I, rem I remember it was uh, one of the better beat-em-ups I played. I thought um, most licensed games did go the uh, beat-em-up route, and uh, this was one of the better ones, I think. Even though you know, Spider-Man is basic attack is more or less punching. They incorporated the um, spider abilities very well, I think. And uh, this game was published by Acclaim, which is no longer around. They went bust in 2004. And they did a lot of, uh, a lot of good games. I, it's a shame they went out of business. Oh, lost, oh, down to one life now. 
just a case of taking these fools out and moving onwards. You can see the uh, yellow arrow there, very much a staple of the beat-em-up genre. Very Double Dragon and Final Fight-like. Oh, just... Oh dear, I'm down. Oh, nuts. Game over. Oh well. Anyway guys, I'm gonna stop things here. This has been Spider-Man and Venom, Maximum Carnage. So remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. So until then, peace out.